Hello students, today the topic of our lesson is Beautiful Hands. It's a poem written by Ellen Maria Huntington Gates. Learning Objectives At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to know about the poetess, write the theme of the poem, and answer all the given questions. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you briefly about the poetess. Ellen Maria Huntington Gates was a prolific writer who lived from 1835 until 1920. But since the bulk of her writing occurred in the 19th century, we can call her a 19th century writer. That is not to say that she did not write at all in the 20th century. She did indeed. There is an archive of some of her 20th century articles and poems on Harper's Magazine's archive. She was 65 years old at the turn of the century. Now I am going to read the poem. Beautiful hands. Such beautiful, beautiful hands. They are neither white nor small. And you, I know, would scarcely think that they were fair at all. I've looked on hands whose form and hue a sculptor's dream might be. Yet are these agit wrinkled hands most beautiful to me. Such beautiful, beautiful hands Though heart were weary and sad, these patient hands kept toiling on that the children might be glad. I almost weep when looking back to childhood's distant days. I think how these hands rested not when mine were at their play. Such beautiful, beautiful hands, they are growing feeble now, and time and pain have left their mark on hand and heart and brow. Alas, alas, the nearing time, and the sad, sad day to me, when neath the daisies out of sight, these hands must folded be. But oh, beyond the shadowy lands, where all is bright and fair, I know full well these dear old hands will palms of victory bear. When crystal streams through endless years flow over golden sands, and where the old are young again, I'll clasp my mother's hands. Words meanings. The first word is scarcely. Scarcely means barely, hardly. Fair. Fair means beautiful. Form and hue. It means shape and color. Sculptor's dream. It means imaginations of an artist. Agit. Agit means old. Wrinkled. It means creased or with lines. Weary. Weary means tired. Crystal. Transparent. Clearer. Clasp. It means hold in hand. With a high hand. It means disregarding the feeling of others. Feeble, feeble means weak. Daisies, a daisy is a kind of flower. Palms of victory, 
It means symbol of victory. The summary of the poem. The poetess pays rich tributes to her mother. She praises the beauty of her mother's hands, though these hands are wrinkled and not beautiful physically. Yet, they are sacred, sweet and dear to her. When she was a child, these hands worked hard to comfort her and to make her happy. These hands are now old and weak. Her time is coming nearer. When her mother will depart from this world, but in the life hereafter, everything will become bright, beautiful and young again. The poetess hopes to embrace her mother's hand there. The main idea of the poem. Mother's hands are the symbol of love. A mother is the main character around which the whole family moves. She relieves the monotony of life, sheds the divine light in the darkness, alleviates distress, does her duties for making her children happy, healthy, and intelligent citizens of tomorrow. She sacrifices her youth for them. The progress of a nation depends upon the care and skill with which mothers rear up their children. Questions and answers. Question one, what words or phrases tell us that they are not pretty in the physical sense? Answer, the words aged and wrinkled tell us that the hands are not beautiful in their physical appearance. It means that these hands are old and full of wrinkles. They are neither fair nor small, but rough and big. Question two, why does the poetess praise the hands in the second stanza? Answer, the poetess praises the hands in the second stanza because these hands carelessly worked hard in spite of exhaustion and utter fatigue in order to provide happiness for her children. The poetess is showing repentance because she was young and she could have helped her mother in doing work, but she did not. Question number three. In the third stanza, what does these hands must folded be mean? Answer, the words these hands must folded be mean that the death time of the poetess's mother was near to come. The poetess is showing her grief because soon her mother would be under the layers of wild flowers in a folding manner. Question four, who does the poetess praise in this poem? Answer, in this poem, the poetess pays a high tribute to her mother's hands for their spiritual beauty. She further defines these hands that they worked restlessly in spite of facing tribulations of life so that her family might enjoy a happy life. Question 5. What do you know about the poetess of the poem? Answer, this poem is written by Ellen M. H. Gates. She was born in Torrington, Connecticut, USA. She wrote religious songs, hymns, like The Home of the Soul and Eternity for well-known magazines. Collections of her poems were published in 1897 and 1910. Question number six. What is the message of the poem, Beautiful Hands? Answer. In this poem, the poetess 
praises mother's hands for their spiritual beauty she pays a rich and unique tribute to her mother according to her mother's hands are a symbol of love sacrifice affection and hard work to bring up her children question number 7 what rewards for her mother does the poetess think of answer the poetess is fully confident that her mother will go to paradise after death she will be young again there the poetess says that she will clasp her mother's hand in paradise mothers will be rewarded for their sacrifice in giving birth and bringing up their children uh, dear students i hope that you would have learned the whole poem uh, all the questions answers the theme and summary thank you very much goodbye